This is Matt Hulk with CPA. I wanted to talk today about the one critical mistake that every business owner makes. And I'll tell you what, it's, uh, you know, I meet with a lot of business owners and I talk to them about this all the time. And they are just amazed uh, at what we uncover when we look into this. Now, the one critical mistake is not paying attention to the cash gap in their business. All right, so what is the cash gap? Let's take a look at a typical small business cash conversion cycle. And when I say cash conversion cycle, all I mean is how long does it take you to convert your product or service into cash in your pocket? That's all it is. So in this example, you buy materials on day one and you have to pay immediately because you have no terms with your vendors. That's cash out of the business. Your materials arrive on day 30, your materials sell on day 60, and your customer pays you on day 120. So from the time you buy your materials to the time you get paid is 120 days. That's four months. Okay, this is a major cash drain on the business. It literally just sucks the cash right out of your business. And most business owners don't realize this. They're not aware of how quickly they pay for things and then how long it takes to get paid from their customers. And during this time, you have to pay employees, overhead, et cetera. So that's just even more cash out of your business. All right, so what? let's take a look at what happens when you grow because a lot of business owners think, if I just grow faster, if I have more revenue, I can get myself out of this. Okay, so let's assume that each of your customers requires $10,000 in materials and labor for any particular whatever you're selling to them. Now, you're selling this for $20,000 per uh, each one of these projects, so to speak. So you're getting 100% markup. And let's further assume that you get three customers in the first month, four in the second, five in the third, six in month four, and eight in month five. All right, so let's look at this. Cash outlay in month one. Costs you $10,000 per customer. You get three. That's $30,000 out of your pocket. Month two, there's four customers. That's $40,000 out of your pocket. Still mo no money coming in the door. And so now cumulatively, you're out $70,000. Month three is $50,000 because you have five customers. Now you're up to $120,000 out of pocket. So month four, with our six customers, we're out of pocket 60. We finally collect in month four on the customers from the first month. So that's 20,000 times three, that's 60,000. You're still net zero cash, so you're still in the whole $120,000. Same thing in month five. You collect the money from the customers in month two, but you have eight new customers, and so it costs you $80,000, you're still in the hole $120,000. So here's the deal, that $120,000, that's your cash gap. That's how much you have to somehow fund, either through your own money, through bank financing, through investors, whatever the case may be, but you have to fund that cash gap. That's a lot of money. And that happens all the time in small business. And it's probably happening in your business. You don't even realize it. All right. So what do we do when we talk to business owners Okay, about the cash gap? We bring it up all the time. The first thing is you have to work on your business and not in your business. I know that is such a cliche statement, but it's so true. You have to step back, look at the forest through the trees, get away from the day-to-day you know, problems and issues, get away from all that, step back and take a look at your business to see what's going on. Now, as part of that, you have to, and number two there, ensure that you track the right KPIs. KPI stands for key performance indicators, and it just basically means some simple ratios. Look at those ratios. Uh, create a monthly dashboard that you can look at these ratios and look at them over time to see how they trend. And, and are you looking at the right things for your business to make sure you're staying on track? 
Number three is speed up the cash conversion cycle. Basically, all this means is shorten that time period. So if it takes you four months to convert the materials to cash, shorten that time period. OK, so the, the quicker if you think about it as a wheel, you know, from the time that you spend the money on materials till the time you get paid as a wheel. And if you can speed that up as fast as possible, you're going to be able to get cash quicker and quicker. So how do you do that? A couple things here. You can get terms with vendors. You know, if vendors will give you 30 day terms, you've just shortened your cash conversion cycle by 30 days. All right, get down payments from customers. Get some money up front before you do a job or, or, or whatever it might be. Get some money up front. And then of course you have to pay attention to collections. Watch your accounts receivable like a hawk. Don't let, get pe don't let people get past due. Assess finance charges. Do what you have to do to collect that money. Now, number four, and, and I know, you know, entrepreneurs love growth and they love sales, but don't just focus on sales and fast growth. I can tell you right now, if that's all you focus on and you let everything else fall to the side, as far as collecting and, and, and payment terms with your vendors, you will go bankrupt if your cash cycle is not in line with your growth. That just means that if you grow too fast, and you're not collecting your money fast enough, you will run out of money. I've seen it happen plenty of times with businesses. They, uh, great product, great service, they're growing really fast, but they can't collect their money fast enough from their customers, and they simply just run out of money, okay? Now, another common misconception that I hear all the time, I literally had a meeting with a client the other day that said this, they think that the only way out of the cash gap is to continue to grow, get more revenue, get more sales. That is not the way to get out of the cash gap. If you continue to grow and continue to get more revenue and get more sales, it'll make the problem worse. So that is not a solution. The solution is to make sure that you shorten that cash conversion cycle. Now, Number six, the only way to calculate your key performance indicators and to track your cash conversion cycle and to first even figure out what is your cash gap? How long you know, is your cash conversion cycle? The only way to calculate these things is to have accurate accounting. If you don't, you will not make the right decisions. Okay, this is incredibly important. And the reason is because a lot of, you know, the cash conversion cycle, is based on accurate accounts receivable, accurate inventory, accurate accounts payable, and accurate financial statements. So if you don't have that core foundation of good accounting and good financial statements, you'll be looking at the wrong numbers and you may make the wrong decisions. So step back, think about this, think about how long it takes you to get money in the door from your customers and how long that money is out the door and out of your pocket and focus on shortening that cycle. And you will avoid this mistake that happens in business all the time. And you'll have so much more cash in your pocket.